Hey, good uh, Friday, Pipers, uh, freehand Friday at that. And I'm, again, smoking. I only own two uh, freehands. One's a Cobb freehand, and I love that little <clears throat> joker. And, and the other one is this golden handmade. Um, and just decided I was in a briar mood tonight. And I'm smoking some Baron Seven Seas Royal. Great man. Oh, and I want y'all to know, y'all are looking at a man in a warranty nub. Um, just got out of the shower, wet head and wet head in the whole nine yards. I am just gonna, I'm gonna do this one. Get it downloaded and hit the hay. I got to roll out again early in the morning. We're in a little town of Oak Grove, Louisiana. Took the trailer over, as y'all know, last night. Left it. Had to be back over there. They said wanted everything open at 9 o'clock. Nobody got open at 9. It's, it's, and I don't understand on Fridays. It doesn't start picking up next year. I will not even attempt to get open until minimum, uh, maybe three o'clock, four or five more than likely. There's just no activity there. But anyway, when I got over there last night, the the trailer has, you know, it's 220, so it's wired for 220. I have wanted this pipe all day, but I gave two brick houses fits today. Let me tell y'all. Mm. It's wired for 220. It's got the big heavy gauge wire on both sides of the trailer that come down. They spool up inside the trailer in the cabinets, but they, they're lowered down through the floor. You pull them out, then you plug them into your 220 panel boxes at these festivals and things or your generator. Well, where we were at today, there was no electricity available. had to use a generator. When I got there last night, I noticed that the the cord on the left side of the trailer, which if you're pulling it would be the passenger side, the driver's side, had dropped down somehow, sometime, must hadn't have been too long because it wasn't in real bad of shape, and it had drug the, con the the blacktop and worn a couple of prongs down. So I left last night. Oak Grove was a small town, 5,000 people maybe. And it's 70 miles from where I live, in West Monroe. Uh, the next biggest town, going coming back toward Monroe, is Bastrop, and it's about 7,500 people, 8,000 maybe. Ten in its pay heyday when the paper mill was. Uh, international paper was operating there. They closed that paper mill four, about four or five years ago and just devastated that town. But uh, so that, I knew I couldn't find one up there probably. So I went on to Lowe's last night after I left, picked up one, and it was 30 amp, what I needed. So this morning I get there. We got there about 7.30, I guess. My nephew went with me. We start unloading the truck and doing our normal morning trailer setup. And uh, I've changed the end on the plug before. Matter of fact, this exact thing has happened to me before, and it's always my fault. I'm the one that leaves them unsecured. <laughs> uh, I didn't get on it immediately. I should have, but I didn't. About quarter to ten, I said, "Well, I'm gonna go ahead because we we really needed at that point." electricity inside and we were going to go ahead and set the generator up Began to need you know some things to operate and uh, fired up the generator well first I was going to go ahead and change this plug it took about 10 minutes and I changed the plug on the end of it and I'm no electrician but went to plug it in I've got some adapters that that <laughs> they're uh, RV adapters but which will you plug in, then it'll adapt, make it an adapt. I can I can fit generators and any 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 style plug. I thought I could, 
that's, that you might run across at any of these festivals. There's basically three different kinds, and I've got adapters that'll work on all of them. So now if I get off anywhere, I, I can make it work. Well, this one wouldn't. It was just a fraction off of the twist lock type of no way, no phone. Well, it wasn't going to work. So found a local hardware store, and he had one, he said, he gave it to me. Now, mind you, I paid $11 at Lowe's for the one just like it the night before, but slightly the wrong size. $30 in this little town. So I get up there, get it back, and get up there and start taking it apart, and it's a lower gauge. It just ain't going to work. And then the guy wouldn't even give me my money back. It's been open, he said. But it was not the right gauge, and there's no way. I mean, I think it would have been a fire hazard. So I'm faced with driving nearly 70 miles back. Really needing to get open. And I said, heck with it. I took the old plug that had been worn a little bit, put it back on, straightened the prongs. I said, if it don't work, I've got to hook them up and head back to Monroe. I'll just make the round trip. Plugged it in the generator, fired it up, the lights came on, it worked, everything worked. Even though it's ground down a little bit, it's fingers crossed it's working and if it'll get me through tomorrow, then when I get it home, I'll change the I'll get the right one for it. But we didn't get open on time and it was just one problem after another and finally got opened and of course I, three of my festival friends Road dog friends happened to be there. I didn't know they were coming because we get there. We all have this, re hey, hey, you know. And uh, one of them calls himself Cajun Will. He ain't no more of a Cajun than I am. He's from Dale High, Louisiana. He's a North Louisiana redneck. Not no Cajun, but he bills himself as Cajun Will. Good fella, I like. But he does a Cajun corn dog. It's just a spicy, it's a good corn dog. Spicy corn dog. And he was deep frying moon pies today. So. Uh, Nobody done real good today. Saturdays are the day there. And they all said, you know, you were a couple hours late getting open. Like Cajun Will said, he said, and during that two hours, I sold two corn dogs. You didn't lose a thing. We were steady getting it. But when we got open, we did a little this evening. Fridays are just not the day. It's Saturdays. There is a midway there. They've got several rides set up. So for kids and for the young and young at heart. And, uh, some that I won't get on, I would have in my younger days, but there's a couple of wild looking ones there, right in front of our booth, our food trailer, and uh, I don't want them. But I'm tired. I never sleep the night before a festival. I just my mind is going 20 directions. I, I couldn't sleep, so I did that video last night. My mind's going 20 different directions. I just, I never can sleep. There's two things I can't sleep. The night before a fishing tournament and the night before a festival. My mind just goes. And so finally, about 1.30, I drifted off to sleep. 3 o'clock, 3.15, come one of the most horrendous thunder and lightning storms through here. Woke the whole woke us up. It was the loudest and the hardest. I've heard it rain, and I couldn't tell you when. Sound like they were. Sound like a B-52 was dropping bombs in our backyard. It would really shake the house. So I got up, and by the time it lasted nearly to four o'clock, it just hung over us. This this storm line just still just hung over us. About four o'clock, a little after it left, my clock was set for five o'clock. So I didn't go back to bed. I've had an hour and a half sleep. Got to roll back out at about six in the morning. So, but I did want to holler at y'all, let you know what was going on. And I had bad need of this pipe, like I said. I chewed one of them brick houses down to a nub. I mean, my nerves were shot. I did good on my cigarettes. I st stuck my three today. But I give, I give. Them two brick houses, heck, I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> I didn't take a pipe with me, and I think I'm gonna take a pipe tomorrow. I think I could have relaxed a little bit. Right. <laughs> but I'm gonna answer a few 
emails and private messages. I hadn't had a chance to look at any of that. Try to maybe watch a couple of videos, and uh, it's just a little after 10 here. About 11 o'clock, I plan on being asleep. We'll catch up with y'all tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow's, tomorrow's got to be a better day. I think business-wise, it will be. I'll take care. Have a good one. God bless you, and we'll see you tomorrow. God bless you.